Ahoy! It's Pirate Day! Welcome to our Kids Yoga Pirate Theme class. Hope you're ready, mateys. We've got a lot to do today, and I hope you're excited about it, too. But my first question for you is, do you know a good pirate joke? I have a couple to share with you. For example, how much do pirates charge for piercing an ear? A buccaneer! Ha 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 Alright, here's one more. How much do treasures cost for a pirate? An arm and a leg! Let's get started with yoga. <laughs> In today's yoga class, we are going to practice focusing our minds and breathing. Then we'll practice strong body yoga poses because you know pirates have to be super strong on their ships and when they swim in the ocean. We will also practice stillness and rest because the ocean for a lot of people is a place of calm and peace. We'll practice connection to ourselves, to each other, and always end with kind hearts. Even pirates practice kind hearts. So let's start by focusing our minds and breathing. Now I have made this ocean mind jar. And if this is something you've never seen or heard of before, I can put instructions down below so you can make your own at home. This is made out of a recycled bottle with some colored water, some glitter, sequins, and you can be creative how you do it at home. So we're going to use this to focus our minds and Focus our eyes. So I'll show you how it works. You can see some of the glitter and sequins have settled in the bottom here. Now, like a stormy sea gets all mixed up, things start moving. And this is like what happens to us when we get upset or angry or scared and we have big feelings. We get all mixed up, our minds are not focused and nothing's happening clearly, but we can settle and focus with our breath, with our eyes, and watch as the waters calm, the glitter falls, and we become a little more still and calm together. So let's do this three times, breathing deeply each time. Here we go. Big feeling, stormy waters, mix it up. And watch. Wow. Those deep breaths help me be calm. Let's try it again. Think of a time you had a big stormy feeling. Maybe you were worried about something or angry or frustrated. <clears throat> Let's do our three breaths, watching the waters calm. Great job being focused. You ready to try it one more time? Here's the storm, shake it up, shake it up, shake it up, and breathe. So this mind jar or ocean bottle, you can call it that too, is a great tool that you can make yourself at home. I'll put those instructions below. Now, we have already done a little bit of breathing while we did our focusing. And I want to teach you a special way to breathe. You might have noticed as I've been talking, I have the sound of ocean waves on here at my house might be coming through on your screen too. I hope it is. So there is a special way of breathing in yoga that's called ocean breathing. And that's what we're gonna practice now. We're gonna do it just quick before we get into our yoga poses. So in ocean breathing, I wanna teach you also the Sanskrit name, the yoga name 
for this breathing. It's called Ujjayi. Say it with me, Ujjayi. Ujjayi breathing is ocean breathing. And what we do is breathe in and out through our nose only. To start with, breathe in through your nose. Then imagine you can fog up a mirror. Breathe in through your nose. Fog up the mirror. Now that same ha sound, try to make it with your lips closed. So breathe in. That's the way. Let's do three ujjayi ocean breaths together before we hit the seas. Wonderful job, that's Ujjayi breathing. Now, here's a joke for you. Hold on, pirates. Which instrument do pirates like to learn in their music class? Guitar. Did you like that one? All right, here's another good pirate joke. Which part of the pirate deck or the pirate boat smells the worst. The poop deck. <laughs> Let's get going with some strong body yoga poses. Now, our first pose is going to be boat pose because every pirate needs their ship. So this is our boat pose. To do boat pose, there's a few ways. Start by sitting on your mat. You can use your hands to help you lift up and float your legs. Now, this could be your pirate ship. You can also try to lift your legs high and lift your heart high. This is your pirate ship sailing in the ocean. Here comes a wave, whoa, it rocks you. It might even tip you back. Then come on up. <laughs> If you feel really strong in your pirate ship, you can even try to raise your sails up high. Watch out, here comes a wave. Whoosh. Back up, boats. Float. Here comes a wave. Float. Whoa. Stay balanced on the ocean. One more wave. Float. Oh, take a rest, everybody. Easy seat with your legs. Oh, let's take the ocean breathing, Ujjayi. Now, our next yoga pose is also very important for a ship. Every ship that floats on the ocean also needs an anchor so that you don't float away while you're sleeping. So we're gonna turn our bodies into an anchor using half bow pose. I'll show you how to do it. You start on your stomach. Come on to your stomach, and then with your legs out behind you, reach back for one foot. If you can get your foot, you're gonna lift your heart forward. So imagine you're sailing forward, and then try to press your knee into the earth and kick into your hand. This is half bow pose, and today this is our anchor pose. We wanna feel grounded, in touch with the mat. Breathe in. Breathe out. Steady focus with your eyes. One more time. And relax. So my one leg feels really nice and stretched out. Some pirates have one leg. Some people have one leg. If you have two legs, reach back for your other foot and catch hold of it. And if you have your one leg, you can do it again. Kick into your foot, lift your heart, pirates, and breathe. During our anchor pose, we want to feel solid and grounded in touch with the mat. Let go of your foot. Easy seat. Oh. 
Ocean breath in. And out. Now, the next part of the ship we're going to explore is not the stinky poop deck, but the plank. Be very careful so you don't accidentally walk off the plank. This pirate pose is kind of like mountain pose. We're gonna do something special. So start at the very back of your space. I'm gonna start at the back of my mat and pretend my mat is the plank. But remember, don't fall off in the ocean. Line up your feet like you're walking on a balance beam. See if you can walk. Toe heel, toe heel while you stand tall on your mat. Use your feet to feel where you're walking. When you get to the front of your mat, mountain pose, feet side by side, arms by your side, stand tall. Nice job walking forwards. Can you do it backwards? Here we go, from the front of your mat. Toe, heel, toe, heel, balance. Slowly. Don't step off your plank. All the way to the back. When you get to the back of the mat, mountain pose. Okay, pirates, bonus challenge. You can do it the same way we just did, walking on your plank, or you can try it with your eyes closed. Here we go, let's see how it goes. Start at the back, stand tall. If you're ready to, close your eyes. Toe heel, whoa. Much harder to balance with my eyes closed. I'm gonna focus on the feelings in my feet. I'm gonna focus on standing tall. And when your toes find the front of your mat or the end of your yoga mat, don't step off the edge, but stand tall in mountain pose. Open your eyes, take a big breath in and out. Can we do it with our eyes closed going backwards? Let's find out. From mountain pose, close your eyes when you feel ready. Try it backwards. Toe heel, toe heel. I'm using my arms out to the sides to help me balance also. Ooh. Don't step off the plank, stay on your mat. When you find the back of your mat, don't step off the edge. Mountain pose. Open your eyes. <sighs> we made it. We're safe. Good job. You can sit on your mat in easy seat. <sighs> Ocean breath in. And out. Our next yoga pose is also a balance pose. And sometimes we do this pose and we call it eagle. But today, because we're pirates, this is going to be parrot pose. So we're gonna stand up and twist our bodies all around ourselves. Here we go. We stand up and if you need something to help you balance, you can hold on to something in your space. Furniture, maybe the wall. You can also do it sitting in a chair. All right, so we're gonna twist our legs around. Twist your arms around. Maybe you hug your shoulders or you try to twist up your arms like this. It's called a double wrap in yoga. Our legs are wrapped, our arms are wrapped. Bend your knees so you sit low and be a parrot. Breathe in. What would you say if you were a parrot? Get your balance, cross your other leg over, 
try to tuck it around. Sit low. Arms under, maybe opposite shoulders. Hands back to back or that double wrap. Squeeze everything into your center line. Be your parrot. Squat. What are you gonna say if you're a pirate? Parrot. Pirate, parrot, breathe in. Squawk. And relax. Take a break in our easy seat pose. Ocean breath in. Our next pirate pose. It's all about the front of the ship. Fronts of ships have really beautiful artwork. A lot of times it's a picture of a person or a carving of a person or a mermaid. Sometimes it's something else. So we're gonna pretend that we are the beautiful carving at the front of the ship called the prow. So let's try this dancer's pose together. We've done a little bit of stretching so that we can do our dancer's pose. And remember, since it's a balanced pose standing on one foot, you can hold on to something to help you balance. I'm gonna hold the wall here to start with. So I'm gonna stand on one foot and catch my leg. Hmm. This is just like anchor pose, except we're standing up now. So kick into your foot, try to lift it behind you, heart forward if you have your balance, you can even lift up one arm. Stay focused with your eyes. Try to balance for one, two, three breaths. And relax. Beautiful. Balance is hard work. Let's try it on our other foot. Remember, you can hold on to something to help you. Catch your foot. Stand up tall and then kick your foot behind you. You can stay here or try to reach your arm up. This is dancer's pose. Be a beautiful statue for three breaths. One, two, three. And rest, sit down. Easy seat. Great job, pirates. I have a question for you. Why do pirates take so long to learn the alphabet? They spend years at sea. <laughs> now, what's a pirate's favorite color? Gold, of course. So let's imagine we're looking for gold. Just like this skeleton, we are going to do malasana pose or garland pose. It's really good for digging in the sand for treasure. So feet out wide, bending low. You might get a stretch feeling here in your legs or in your hips. Tucking your elbows, lift up, peek around. Hmm, where should we dig for gold? Maybe right in front, any gold here? Gotta keep looking, maybe over here or on the other side. Keep looking for gold. If you find one, get it to your heart. Mm. We love that gold. Yes. Now, can we find more? Dig over here. Dig over here. Dig all around till you find one. Yes, get it to your heart. Gold is a pirate's favorite. <sighs> Let's put it in the chest. Treasure chest pose is next. We're gonna go right to it. Here's our treasure chest pose. Sometimes it's called reverse table. So sit on your mat, feet in front, hands behind. Lift up to make a treasure chest. And then you can imagine just like a piggy bank, put your gold in. One, two, three, four. 
Keep going. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. We are rich. Ten. Ten gold pieces for these pirates. Breathe in, lift up, shine the gold. <sighs> Breathe out, sit down, close the chest. Lock it up tight. <sighs> Easy seats, everybody. Ocean breath in. We have one more pirate pose today. We just found our gold. Dig it in the sand. Put it in the chest. Now before any other pirates come that might want our gold, we have got to sail away. So raise the flag, raise the sail. Let's go. This is Arda Chandrasana, which is a really fun thing to say in Sanskrit and it means half moon pose. So we're gonna sail by the light of the half moon. If you want something to hold on to, you can hold on to something. So I like to start with one foot in front, one foot behind, reach forward, maybe for furniture, fly your sail behind you, and one up high also. And if you feel really brave when you're sailing, you can even bring one hand down. Sometimes you can also touch the floor. So you decide what kind of sailing you're gonna do. Let's sail for three breaths. I'm gonna look forward. Steady eyes, help me balance. And land. That's some good sailing. Let's make sure nobody's following us. Put the other foot in front. Switch it out. Get ready to sail. Here we go. Holding on to something or reaching for the floor to balance. Three breaths, sail. Come on up. And then take your seat. Easy seat, please. Breath in. Breath out. We have completed our yoga poses, strong bodies portion of today's class. Even pirates get to rest. So choose your favorite way to rest. Maybe that's laying down on your mat and imagine you're in a pirate hammock, maybe on the ship or on shore. If you like a different way to rest, have your body do something else. We're gonna rest for 10 slow breaths. You can close your eyes. Relax. Nothing to do here. Nothing to think about. Just the ocean lullaby helping you rest. resting as long as you like. When you're ready, you can wiggle your fingers and toes. Wiggle your nose to wake up. Stretch your body. And come up to a comfortable, easy seat. Any easy seat you like, pirates. I'm gonna share with you just a little more. 
What does a pirate say on his 80th birthday? I'm 80 years old. Did you like that one? What does one pirate say to his friend? He says, I seize you. <laughs> pirate jokes are lots of fun. I hope you have fun today. I hope you feel a little relaxed. We're gonna practice a little bit more connection here. So we went on our pirate adventure and bring your hands to your lap or your hands to your heart. Close your eyes if you like. Imagine your waters calm and peaceful. Imagine the way the light trickles down through the water. It might land and glitter off of some seagrass gently moving in the current. The light might filter down and reach all the way to the sandy floor of the ocean. Imagine what that looks like. Connect with that calm, peaceful feeling. All right, sailors, you have done a wonderful job coming on this pirate adventure. Let's end our practice with kind hearts. So start by thanking your body. Arms out wide, give yourself a great big hug. I love you, body. Arms out wide. I love you, body. All your parts. Arms out wide. I love you, body. Not all pirates have all body parts. Not all people have all body parts. And we could love our bodies just the same. Reach your arms out and up. Bring your hands to your head. I love you, mind. We are creative and imaginative and clever and strong in our minds. Hands to your head. I love you, mind. Arms out. Hands to your heart. I love you, heart for being kind and generous. I love you, heart. One last breath together today. We will end this yoga class with our magic yoga word, namaste. Namaste means all the goodness and the kindness in me. Respects and honors all the goodness and the kindness in you. Namaste. Thanks so much for sharing this pirate yoga adventure. If you enjoyed the class, you can give me a thumbs up on the like button there. You can also stay connected on social media with me and with Boston Ability Center, where we do yoga, occupational therapy, speech therapy, and physical therapy. And I'll put the information below if you're interested in making your own ocean bottle or mind jar as well. Stay in touch, everybody. Have a great week. I'll see you next time.